Hi everyone, I'm going to film this on my laptop. Bits are here. Doing stuff things here. Um, to see how this works. So I'm going to try another foundation. I took my earrings out again. I've already uploaded a video today using the Laura Gala foundation. So today, for the second time, I am going to try, where's my camera, the Essence Stay All Day 16 Hour Long Lasting Makeup. And I've got number 10, Soft Beige. So, it comes with a pump and a nice wee bottle. And there is 30 mils. So we'll give it a wee shake. I don't know. I've not tried this yet, so I don't know how um, the colour's going to be in my skin. So that's the colour there. So I think we'll just... Because it's uh, one of these stay all day things, I'm presuming it's quite... a little set. I know this isn't the best. What do you call it? Camera to try it on, but she's my real techniques at buffing brush. It smells nice. to put my daylight light on, see if that makes a difference. That's the side with the foundation, and this is the side without it. And I've not used primer, just to see how this looks without it. So what we'll now do the other side. This feels so weird. How do people film? Not on their webcam. The pictures look good. I would say this is medium coverage. And it's a good match just now for me with my fake tan because my face is chalk white compared to my, my body. Find my wee sponge and I'm not going to put much else on. I'm going to use this e.l.f. baked bronzer. Chuck some of that in my eyes. I'm going to do my whole video. If you can hear any noise, it's my neighbours. I was about playing with a grandson, I think. Uh, I've got to use my Mac 
187 duo fibre. And just put a wee bit in a spin my face for a bit of colour. While I'm doing the video, a wee bit more and brow pencil. And then clean the mascara out. Something that looks in all this. I'll use my Max Factor Transform Masterpiece mascara. Even though probably going to all clumpy, but. This is my bourgeois colour boost pencil thing and Life's a Beach, I think. And, or Peach on the Beach. There we go. Right, onto my haul. So first I'll show you my shoes that I've got. So this first pair are from eBay and the make is Charles and Keith. And they've still got their labels and everything on them so I don't think they've ever been worn. And they're a size 2 which is perfect. So they're lovely. I'm looking forward to wearing them. The next pair is from New Look and they're just quite kind of they're kind of open. Look at your big toe. I don't mean open. They're closed toes but there's a space so they dip down. I don't know what they're called so I'm going to make. And I'm just going to Nice heel that I can actually walk in, and these are 19.99 in size two. And my EV ones were five pounds. Next pair are the same as the white ones, but these are black, and these have got suede detail. Well, kiddo on suede, like round here and down the heel. And I did wear these yesterday, so and the stickers and everything are all these ones. So I wore these very dress and were lovely. Next, my Freedom Makeup Order. Now I'm replaced. Get a size shadow and one, two, three, four, five lipsticks. So in the previous video, this is what I wore um, in my eyes, so I'll show you me using that. And it was £4, I think, for that. And these lipsticks came as a bundle. So it was a bundle of 5 for £4, or £1 each. And I'll try and swatch some, but I don't know how they'll show in this video. So this one's called Tell Your Friends. This was a pink set by the way. That's been a few different things. 
There's one. That's one. I might put this video up and take it back down because it might be rubbish. Um, this one is called Flushed. It's more a kind of rosy colour. The only thing is, I hate to say it, but on the lips they're not very good. They're not very... They're, they're opaque, but they're just, they go in kind of patchy. This one's called Pink Lust. And it's a nice warm, kind of corally pink. Next is Wildflower. And this looks more like a kind of quarterly with a lighter quarterly pink and the last one is a fuchsia and it's called candy suit so that's very bright pink I might play about with these and see <coughs> and get them to work, but up until now, I'm very happy. I think I get the right to try the bands. Right. Wait a minute. Try them now. <laughs> Next is a couple of things from Amazon. And eBay. So I've got the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the colour Natural. And I use this in my video as well. It's lovely, I love the wee brush. On the end of it. Um, I've got a Milani eyeshadow in 29 Bella Rose. And I wore this yesterday and it's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that. Pure pink. Another Milani product, Illuminating Face Powder, and it's this is Zero Three Beauty Stretch. So it's just a mixture of different shades. So there's pink and peach and brown and white, but they're quite pale. So that's them all rubbed together. And you might even see it in my hand because it's it kind of just blends in. I don't know how you would, they're all too small to kind of, you couldn't get an either of one and the other. And for some reason I fancied blue mascara and blue eyeliner. So the blue eyeliner is from Collection and it's Fast Stroke Eyeliner and I'm not very happy with this. I, I don't know what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a nice dark blue but it's kind of metallic. <coughs> See that there? And it doesn't look very opaque. I tried to my eyes yet, but and my mascara is also by collection. Colour Lash All Day Colour Mascara, Electric Blue, and wow, it's very electric blue. So let's just a bit. And this is the way to wear coloured mascara if you don't like the idea of just putting the colour straight on your lashes. Just put your 
normal mascara on first and then layer it with the colour. And it just, I don't know if you see that. So you'll just see like a wee hint of the colour. Got a bit of blue somewhere. My Laura Geller Baked Foundation, which if you've seen my previous video, you would have seen me using that. Mm, don't know if I'm going to have all that much, but I'll try it another couple of times and see what I think. Um, if I don't know how much the Milani, I've not got my invoice for these, but everything was only, I don't know. A couple of pounds. Maybe that was four ninety nine and a fiver or something. I think the eyeshadow was maybe three ninety nine. Um the mascara was one ninety nine I think. And the eyeliner and the pro concealer was was the expensive either. Um, my essence haul I got from Wilco. So the foundation that I've got on was £3.80, which is, I can feel it's set, but as that Laura Geller one was just like, I felt as if my face was wet. Um, and this isn't making me look too shiny, it's just a nice coverage to even up my skin tone, so I'm just happy with that. Um, I get this. Let me put earrings back in. Sorry. Sorry. It's an effect eyeshadow. And is it telling me the colour? Zero five. China's groove. And I get this because I thought that would be nice under my Urban Decay. Eyeshadow and Fireball. One of the different kind of tones in it. But I wonder. What's it been? I wonder how how it would be on its own. Because that would be quite nice in the summer, just a wee bit of that and some mascara. Let's see if it sets. Um lip gloss that I used in my previous video as well and this is Pink Galaxy I know it looks glippy but it wasn't actually and I think it's meant to be holographic and you probably definitely want to see that even though I've got it now and it's here so it's just nice a couple of sparkles. And a uh, lipstick or well, that the eyeshadow thing was a pound and the lip gloss was two fifty. Oh, I forgot. I can find out. My daughter had brought me this back from Spain. Um, so I ordered my sister another one of them. But I also got myself another one, but in a paler colour. So this is So Glow Cream to Powder Highlight, another one. But this, the other one's pink based, and this one's more. Kind of champagne based. So this, I don't know why, but oh, that's why, because there's a sticker covering that up the name. That's why I didn't know. No, I don't know what this one's called. There's a sticker covering it up, but this one's called Look on the Bright Side, number ten. And these feel 
Not go over there. Over there. So it's definitely more of you know, champagne rather than the pink. And they were two pounds eighty each. And my last thing I think is a lipstick. I got me one and my daughter one in the same colour for some reason. They said they were long lasting lipsticks, so we reckoned they would probably be matte because they wear. So it's all about red. And it's got the wee bit stamped into it. But I don't think they are matte. It looks quite glossy. And I don't know how opaque it is either, but let me try some on. a nice big smudge I've gave myself. It's so big enough, I think. A nice one just to fling on, I think. I don't know how long it will last, but... Um, and they were two pence thirty each. So that is my haul, and this is me videoing on my laptop through YouTube, just YouTube. So I'm going to try and upload this just now, and we will see how I go on. So sorry, it's too long videos. Um, <coughs> oh, just showed these my haul. I showed them the last one as well. This is from QVC, and the make is Taxco. So it's a wee hammered hat and then another wee one on top of it. A stamped in the back, set on silver, and it's just a long kind of hook. So it doesn't have a clasp or anything because I don't suppose I can sit on you. Um, if I can find my ear. So they're just a wee bit different, I suppose, from the side as well. They will look different because of that shepherd's Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this haul and sorry if the video quality is absolutely crap, but I'll see how it looks and if I think it's that bad then I'll take that down. So thank you for watching everyone and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.